let's start with it press ok to finish this now we have to define the frame section that is column beams and slabs and go to uh, for that we go to define section properties frame sections and in that so many properties are already defined we don't want that property so click on delete multiple properties select all the properties delete selected frame two will be remaining we will delete it later by adding a new property add new property uh, you select here concrete rectangular and click on the rectangular concrete box and you'll get a new pop-up with the frame section property data you write here the name of the column I'm taking column of 600 by 600 mm with the M30 concrete uh, with the concrete rectangular which is 600 mm by 600 mm I'm not giving any modifiers now uh, for column it is a 0.7 I think and for beams it is a 0.45 I think half of that uh, let's see okay so that uh, that is different for columns and beams uh, the movement modifiers and all that modifiers are but we'll check it later so just we will go to the reinforcement thing and we will change it to 5 so 5 5 reinforcement here 20 mm dia bar uh, we can provide it here and 10 mm dia bar for rings and there is confinement bars uh, which is area is shown here we just uh, select it as column here and select steel here as HYSD 500 HYSD 500 for longitude and, and confinement ties so this is check that uh, the design is set for reinforcement to be designed then press ok ok next next uh, you can check the section properties here whatever is assigned to, to this and then press ok now you can delete these two extra properties which we not required at this time so we have deleted we have column only now we will add beam so add new property again concrete rectangular and go to m25 and uh, this one as name it as beam is I will take it as 300 by 650 beam because it's 6 meter span so 650 beam is nearly 50% uh, of it okay 100% of we are taking so it will be safe by so it's a 6 so 650 650 is 300 width so it will show like this two direction and three direction and here you can modify again the beam properties and in going to re reinforcement select m3 beam so in beam again you select 20 m as cover which is minimum cover required for beams in india so select, select these steels as hysd 500 and you can give the top bars if you are ductile overrides you want to provide extra bars so you can give another joint ij top bars and bottom bars yeah you want to give then you can provide here <laughs> the minimum reinforcement area you want to be in, area, in the design that you can provide so we'll leave it uh, zero for this time because we are going to check not going to we are going to design not going to check so if you are already provided the reinforcement you can write there so these are two beam and column I will be providing exterior beams as this and interior beam another a copy of this pro beam so add copy of add copy then name it as beam 230 for by 600 for interior beam and here it is 600 and 230 and press ok because all the things we have set for press add by add copy button you will get the same properties what we have selected for the previous one so 
at. So these two properties has been assigned three properties: one for column, two for beams, and uh, press OK there. Then go to define again and uh, section properties slab sections now and delete so delete the previous plank one property which is there and then go to slab one modify I'm sorry for the background sound my brothers and cousins are playing there and I will take it as 125 thickness slab that is slab and M25 concrete surely it is a slab shell thin and will be not modifying any of the properties of it I'm just providing as 125 mm depth and then press OK so this is added press OK again then go for define defining all the things is over now just give the properties to these grid lines so we just have the grid lines so we have don't have any properties before assigning the properties uh, to the structure just go to this one story option and go press your similar stories so all the stories will be selected which are similar to this grid lines so again you go now you can add beams quick draw beams clicking on this or you can go to draw with again quick draw beams again you select the property here you select this property as uh, beams okay beams exterior beams I want first so let's keep it here okay next I'll just drag a rubber band on this and the beams are run see the ground floor is left because the, in ground floor the no, no beams will be there just the foundation area it is so above that uh, the two floors uh, has been selected at, as beams with exterior beams I want to change this interior beam I don't want this beam to be that beam so I'll be changing it to this beam okay so I think it has been changed so let's see what is there by selecting or right clicking on this beam I can see its properties so it's 306 so it has not been changed so I will delete this beam and again I will add 230 by 600 in this beam now right click on this beam and you can see 230 by 600 is this property and this side beam has 300 by 650 beam so these beams assigned now we will assign columns to it so next option is quick draw columns in 3d view you can select yeah we have uh, provided only one column and which is continuous so by default it will take the footings as pin joint footings so you can just drag like this and you know, all the co joints corners will be where the members are joining it will draw a column uh, over it and it will go up to the bottom it will go up to the ground floor bottom story uh, which is provided with the pinned support uh, at the bottom you can see the triangular pinned support here so now we have to change the supports for design of earthquake uh, buildings or any other type of which we use generally in ETAPs so for analysis of buildings using response spectrum, earthquake, wind loads and all those things so for that design we, we need to uh, provide it with uh, uh, fixed support rather than pin support so go to the ground floor by pressing this move down button here so you can go to yeah ground floor we can see the points available here select object uh, you click on select object and drag the drag this one and you will be selecting the footings now assign joint restraints fixed this is a fixed support button then apply 
now you can see that assign joint restraints fixed apply okay so the fixed joints has been applied you can see in elevation view right these are fixed base now okay next next we can uh, provide the slabs for this go to the plan view again similar story is selected here now we can draw slabs by clicking this or by clicking this or by clicking this all these are options three options for drawing slab uh, for quick draw slab just click on this and drag drag over this but before dragging anything just you change you check it here that this, this is uh, slab 125 which we are going to draw okay now drag this and the two slabs are provided inside the beams you can check one slab is showing separately means it is divided into two parts automatically we need not to draw every slab in, through inside the beams so it will draw by itself so building model inside in ETABS 2015 and how to start ETABS we have seen in this first tutorial so in our next video we will see about how to apply loads to this uh, structure and how to design this structure using response spectrum and other methods of analysis so thank you for watching subscribe if you have not subscribed and uh, click on this playlist of tutorial to uh, see different types uh, different kinds of videos I am showing about the uh, uh, structures and you can go to the playlist of uh, uh, civil engineering works which I have did in being on site for two years in within Aparna constructions so uh, these are all my videos thank you for watching Shabakhair good night good evening greetings bye bye